Good day students, welcome to math.serve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over section 2.1 on our series on operations and decimals. We're going to be looking at how to estimate the sum and difference of decimals. A sample problem that we're going to be taking a look at in this presentation is given here, 120.31 plus 150.79, and the sum by estimation is 300. Don't forget there are four practice problems at the end of this presentation for you to try out in order to demonstrate mastery of the contents of this tutorial. Alrighty, so the instructions are as follows. We are to estimate the uh, following operations on decimals by rounding. So let's take a look at question number one. Let's say we want to find the sum of 57 plus 34.99 by rounding. Okay. What is the sum going to be? Let's take a look at that. There are other methods for estimating sums, but we're going to use rounding, the rounding method for this um, example. So we have 57 uh, and then 34.99. So whenever you add in, you want to add vertically and you must line up the decimal points perfectly. Okay. So this is what we're adding. We want to add 57 point at 57 and 34.99. Now, in order to do this, we don't want to just find the sum. We want to estimate the sum by rounding. So it's not going to be the exact answer. It's just going to be a, a general estimate. It gives us a general idea as to what the sum is. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to round both numbers to the highest place value. Starting with 57, the highest place value is the tens place. So we're going to be rounding to the tens place for 57. And then for uh, 34.99 is also the tens place that we'll be rounding to. Okay, so we're going to go apply the rounding methodology we went over in our previous unit, uh, 1.6, I believe, uh, right here. Okay, so if you're rounding to this place right here to the tens place, you draw a partition. And then you look at a number behind. If it's five and up, you round up. If it's zero to four, no more. Okay. So seven is uh, zero is five and up. Okay. So since it's five and up, we're going to round up, which basically means we're going to add one to five in the tens place to get the estimation. All right. So how does it affect the result? The estimation of 57 or 57 to the nearest 10 is 60. Okay, remember when you round up, every other the digits behind it all become zero, so that becomes a zero. So 5 plus 1 is 660. All right, we're going to apply the same procedure here to 34.99. We're going to be rounding to the tens place, the three right there. So let's put up our partition, take a look at the number on the back. This is 0 to 4. What does that mean? 0 to 4, no more. All right? So basically, we're not going to add anything to that. So we just set this 4 to 0. Bam. So this becomes 0, and this becomes 0, and that becomes 0. So 34.99 rounded to the tens place is simply going to be, let's change colors here. Let's make this blue. So the original one was 60, and then 34.99 is simply going to become 30. All right, because the number behind the tens place was 0 to 4, so no more. Now we're just simply going to add these two numbers, and the answer is going to be 90. So this helps us to see the beauty of knowing how to add and subtract decimals by rounding, because it's easier to compute mentally when you have it rounded up and that's that's basically the whole idea behind um, this lesson okay let's try another example number two let's say we wanted to add uh, let's do a subtraction problem okay let's try 32.9 minus 4.8 okay how do we do this by rounding how do we estimate the difference in this case Okay, so what we're going to do um, is line up the two numbers we're trying to add, 32.9 and 4.8. Okay, we're going to round both of them to the highest place value for each number. 
For the 32.9, we're going to be rounding to the 3 place value. 44.8, we're rounding to the 4. Okay, this is the tens place, this is the ones place. All right, so put up our partition. I'll look at the number on the back. This is zero to four, no more. So just set everything else to zero, zero. And our sum, sorry, our estimation, if we round um, 32.9, if we round it to the tens place, we're gonna round it to 30. It's going to be 30. Okay. All right. Now let's take a look at 4.8. We're going to round 4.8 to the um, highest decimal place, which is a five, the uh, to one's place. Okay. So what we're going to do is put up our partition. Take a look at the number on the back. This is five and up. So if it's five and up, what do you do? You round up, you add one to the digits in the ones place. Okay. So if we round up 4.8 to the ones place is simply going to be five. Okay. This 0.8 component becomes zero. Everything to the right of this partition that we put up all becomes zero. So just write it as five. Remember, we went over this in the previous lesson on rounding. If you don't remember that, you can always go back to that presentation to refresh your memory, okay? So you add 30 plus five, your answer is going to be 35. So that's basically the estimation of the sum of 32.9 and 4.8. All right, let's try another example. We're gonna go a little bit faster now since we've done two problems. Uh, so for question three, we're gonna be adding um, two numbers. Let's say we wanna find the sum of 243.57 and 350. Okay, so <clears throat> Let's take a look at what the sum is by estimation. Let's estimate the sum by rounding. Okay, so 243.57. And then we wanna add 350.00. Okay, so let's uh, round these two numbers to the highest decimal places, res uh, the highest place values respectively and then we're gonna add them easily after that, okay? For 243.57, the highest place value is the hundreds place, so we're rounding to this place right here. Look at this, this is zero to four, no more, so all these become zero, 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 zero. So that rounds up to, or rounds to uh, 200, bam, okay? And then what is 350 rounded to the hundreds place? Put up your put up your partition. Look at the number on the back that is five and up, round up. So we're gonna add one to the digit in the hundreds place. And if we do that, that's gonna give us 400. Okay, now we're gonna add the rounded up values to get the estimate of the sum. 400 plus 600, uh, 200 plus 400 is simply 600, piece of cake. That's the beauty of adding by estimation. It's pretty straightforward once you're done rounding, okay? All right, one more, and then we'll give you some practice problems to try out. Let's say you were to find the difference between, estimate the difference between 50.12 and 32.3. So we're going to round these two up to the highest place values and then uh, find the difference of the rounded numbers and that will give us an estimate of the difference. Okay, so 50.12 minus 32.3 uh, plus 3.3. So just put a zero here so we have all the decimal places accounted for. Now we're rounding to the tens place for both numbers. Okay, for the first number, the number on the top, 50.12, um, 
zero to four no more so this one everything is just going to be zero 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 so if we round 50.12 to the tens place 50.12 is going to be 50 bam okay how about 32.3 zero we're rounding it to the tens place so take a look at the digits of the back is zero to four no more so everything here is they're all going to be set to zero 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 so the uh s 32.3 rounded to the tens place is going to be simply 30. okay now it's easy for us to simply subtract 30 from 50. what is 50 minus 30. 50 minus 30 is 20. Bam. Ladies and gentlemen, there goes the final answer to question number four. All righty. So here are four practice problems we'll like you to try out. So go ahead and pause the video at this time. Try out these four practice problems. When you're done, click on the playback button and we're going to reveal what the correct answers are. All right, so go ahead and pause the video at this time and try out these problems. All righty, so there goes the answers to question number one to four. Go ahead and check your answers. If you uh, have any questions about these, post it in the comment section and we'll be more than glad to assist you. And we'll also know, like to know how well you did um, in these practice problems. Let us know how well you did in the comment section. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Don't forget to help support this channel by liking, subscribing, and commenting. Tons of support resources can be found at mathgotserve.com. Do check it out. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.